Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see how we can create a link preview. So in this case, I'll just paste a link and then we will get the link preview like something like LinkedIn where you click, a, have a post, you just type something and then you get this preview based on the URL. So let's see how we can do this. So without any further ado, let's begin. To begin with, we got a project in Vue 3 and for the backend, I'm using Express. I'll tell you why I'm using Express. So going through the app.view, we got the router view, just the basic setup with view router, Piney and all those things. Now, how it works is that, so this text box will just take in the input, whatever input we type in, let's say this is the text that we want to type. From this text box, this link will be scraped or more like this link will be extracted and then scraped. And whatever meta tags we get or whatever data we get, we just extract the meta tags, we then modify it how we like and just Pay a create a preview based on that. So first we have the home view, which is just the default home page, which I just modified. Now here we first have the text area component. So this text area component, I've just got it from Tailwind UI, just modified a few bits here and there. So this is pretty much like this text box over here. And through this, we will get like, we can just enter the text. So we got, I'm using here define model. So with define model in view 3.4 and above, you can use V model on the component straight itself. So you don't need to have emits or props. You can straight away use it without those, just using this defined model macro. Now going back to this home view over here, first we have some reactive values. So you could say like a ref value. So the text will be whatever text the user types in. And this is just like if the URL is already scraped. So we just keep the record of what URL was scraped previously. And if it's already scraped, we don't scrape it again. And also sometimes, now currently I'm copy pasting this, but sometimes the user might be typing like each letter of course, and we don't want to make request on each letter. So for that, I'm using the debounce, use debounce composable. It just like takes in the reactive value. And after a certain delay, it just assigns that value to another reactive value and we just use this reactive value to watch on and just make the API request based on any change that happens for this debounced value. So going back to this component over here, home view, so we got the debounced value coming from the use debounce, the reactive value which is this one over here, which is actually binded on that text area component which with V model. So whenever someone types in after every, you could say 500 millisecond, we will get whatever they have typed. And if it has changed, definitely it will change, of course. So we'll just make the API call. Then we got the abode controller. Now also we wanna make sure that if the previous request is in progress, we want to cancel that and make a new request. We don't want to make like unnecessary double requests. So abode controller is kind of like a built-in JavaScript mechanism where you get two functionalities, which is the controller.abort, which makes sure that the previous requests, that whatever this controller is assigned with, that request get canceled. And then we got the signal that we pass with the fetch as a options. And every time we abort that controller, we create its new instance so that the new signal instance get assigned. If we don't create a new instance, then no request will be made. Now, then we got some pending state just to have that animation. I'll show you in a moment. So we got this fetch content function. So what we do is we first, from that debounced value using the regular expression, we just get any text that begins with HTTPS and ends till .com or anything like that. And then we get the URL. And once we have the URL, we first make sure, okay, if there are URLs, if there are no URLs, we just set it to default value. We set pending to be false. Otherwise we set pending to be true then we get this first match URL because sometimes they might use two, three or n number of URLs, but we just want to show the preview for first match. If you want to show for all, then you don't need to take the first instance. You can just iterate through the array and make, or just send the entire array to the backend and then just uh, have scrape all the URLs. This was just for testing, so I'll just remove this. Then we got the fetch method over here. So we make a post request to the Express API that I have just created. I'll tell you why I've created that with Express and why I'm not making the request straight from here. Once we make the request, we send the text that is being entered, whatever data we get, we assign to the content, which is again a reactive value and pass it down to this card component, which simply just renders the image URL, the title, 
as an alt text and also the title as uh, the title over there as a content and whatever the description is. Plus we got the loading animation if the state is pending. So these two are passed as a prop. Now going back to this home view or to be precise this API. So here I have this index.js which is very basic express API. So the reason I'm doing this because as I'm making a request like this package I'm using over here, link preview, it makes that request to scrape the content from the website and if the request is made from the client, you might get course error for most of the websites. But if it's made from the server, then it goes smooth. Not every time, but most of the time. So this link preview package helps us to scrape the data or scrape the website and modify the preview or modify the, the preview that we want from the link into a JSON object. So we can straight away use whatever data we get after it's uh, you could say modified or parsed. We just need to pass to the front end and then we can collect that data. Here also I'm using the same logic, but before that I have this course just to avoid any course problem, just right list the URLs, using helmet to pass the correct headers, then course setting, just we need to make sure that the body is passed as a JSON body, so I'm using this middleware. Then the post request, which is the preview request. Here we first grab the text then from the text, we make sure that, okay, only the URLs are taken from that text. So whatever the URLs are, we take all the URLs using the regular expression. If there are no URLs, we just send a response. This actually is not needed. You can also like just send maybe 200 and send empty or nothing. That's fine as well. Then once we get the URL, we again take the first matched URL. Then we try to preview it. So from this package, there is a get link preview function which just takes in the URL that you want to scrape and generate that link preview. And finally, we send that preview data. So if I console this data over here, you'll see like how it looks like. So this data comes here. And if we try to scrape this again here, you will see that we got the URL, then the title, oh, we're using the meta tags of course, and then the description, the content type, the images that are being used in the meta tags. and if there are any five icons and other data. So we can use this data and pass it to the cart component over here, which is coming from this home view. So whatever data we get over here, so I'm just using the title description and the from the images as, as it's an array, if you see over here, there could be multiple images. So we just need like the first image. Generally there will be just one, but never know there might be many. So we'll just use the first image and then just pass that modified object which is title description and image url to the card component and just render it all right so that's all in this video hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel we also got the discord community so i'll put the link in the description feel free to join in and ask any question you like or contribute in any way you like so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye